father Into your coats I will enter Maker of fair and earth I tremble in your holy presence Glory, glory in your sanctuary Splendor and majesty, Lord Therefore you, O life, adore you All the earth will declare That your love is everywhere The fiend will exalt Cease for sound Hear the priest trying to cry Praising you and so will I Hear you song I sing Lord I will glorify and bless your holy name In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with and your, your spirit. spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us pray for these departed souls for whom this Holy Eucharist is offered. Let us pray for the following intentions during this Gregorian Masses. Family members offer this Mass for the departed soul of Basani Kasparedi. Family members offer this Mass for the departed soul of Kade Rojameri. Family members offer this Mass for the departed soul of Mr. Joy John Lopes. Family members offer this Mass for the departed soul of Sister Olga Lopes. Mr. Owen Somasundaram offers this Mass for the departed soul of Mr. Lionel Somasundaram. Family members offer this Mass for the departed soul of Gabadari Raja Rao. Family members offer this Mass for the departed soul of Gabadari Sundari. Vijay Varghese offers this Mass for the departed soul of Anna Saheb Mohiti. Deborah offers this Mass for the departed soul of Virginia John Fernandez. Anthony Vincent offers this Mass for the departed soul of Nicholas Vincent. Anthony Vincent offers this Mass for the departed soul of Dorothy Vincent. Family members offer this Mass for the departed soul of Mr. I. F. Vincent. Mr. Annie Dasi offers this Mass for the departed soul of all the abandoned babies. Jayamala Vincent offers this Mass for the departed souls in the purgatory. Ligori Pinto and family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Jacinta Pinto. Miss Geeta Fernandez offers this Mass for the departed souls of Mr. James and Kanta Solanki. Miss Geeta Fernandez offers this Mass for the departed soul of deceased friends and family. Miss Geeta Fernandez offers this Mass for the departed souls in the purgatory. Anju Santley de Souza offers this Mass for the departed soul of Mr. Stanley Maxi de Souza. Miss Ancilla Jacinta Matthias offers this Mass for the departed souls of all souls in purgatory. Miss Ancilla Jacinta Matthias offers this Mass for the departed soul of Emmanuel Salvador Matthias. Miss Ancilla Jacinta Matthias offers this Mass for the departed soul of Concepta de Souza. Paidimala Prakash Babu and family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Paidimala Dharma Raju Master. Paidimala Prakash Babu and family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Paidimala Purna Teja. Presi family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Mrs. Annie Mary Perse. Paris family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Mr. Joachim Francis Perez. Paris family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Mr. Oislin Paris. Paris family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Mrs. Flora Paris. Paris family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Mr. Gilbert Paris. Sally Lazarus offers this Mass for the departed soul of Maria Antonita Jona de Costa. Anuncia Paul de Souza offers this Mass for the departed soul of Paul Sebastian de Souza. Monterio family offers this Mass for the departed soul of Gabriel Pascal Monitorio. Simi offers this Mass for the departed soul of Mr. Davis. Simi offers this Mass for the departed soul of Mrs. Maris. 
Mrs. Gemello Robin offers his mass for the departed soul of Mr. K. P. Thomas. Vice Sudhakar Reddy Asunta and family offers his mass for the departed soul of Kambam Raphael Reddy. Matai and family offers his mass for the departed soul of Philip Akarthara. Paul Rodriguez offers his mass for the departed souls of all the family members. Vice Sudhakar Reddy Asunta and family offers his mass for the departed soul of Y. Veera Reddy. Sanjeev and Lithi offers his mass for the departed soul of Eru Pakatu family members. Sanjeev and Lithi offers his mass for the departed soul of Karim Bambakal family members. Sanjeev and Lithi offers his mass for the departed soul of Molail family members. Sanjeev and Lithi offers his mass for the departed soul of Pulikal family members. Mrs. Maria Joseph de Souza offers his mass for the departed soul of Mrs. Laurentia F. de Souza. Janet Marcus offers his mass for the departed soul of Marcus Mas Bijeng Singh. Janet Marcus offers his mass for the departed soul of M. Doris. Janet Marcus offers his mass for the departed soul of Jacob Marcus. Cecilia Marcus offers his mass for the departed soul of Christopher Jara Raj. Emilia Frederick Dimello and family offers his mass for the departed soul of Michael Pided Rodriguez. Amila Frederick Dimola and family offers his mass for the departed soul of Lourdes Jospin Rodriguez. Frederick Amila Dimola and family offers his mass for the de departed souls of Dimolo family members. Supriya and Shashi Bhushanam Reddy offers his mass for the departed soul of Kamba Mary. John and family offers his mass for the departed soul of Blasius. Surya Baby and offers his mass for the departed soul of Mrs. and Mr. Baby. Surya Baby offers his mass for the departed souls of Mrs. and Mr. CG. Surya Baby offers his mass for the departed soul of Sister Silma. Cheryl, Margaret, and Floyd Lefray offers his mass for the departed souls of all the family members. Lorna Moyes and Pamel Quadros offer this mass for the departed souls of sons of Malcolm Quadros. Lorna Moyes and Pamela Quadros offer this mass for the departed souls of sons of Donald Pinto. Lorna Moniz and Pamela Kudros offer this mass for the departed souls of sons of Albert Pinto and family. Amala Benjamin offers this mass for the departed soul of M.B. Jospin Mary. F.N.V. Gomes offers this mass for all the departed souls in the forgetry. F.N.V. Gomes offers this mass for all souls in the forgetry. Let us pray for these intentions during this Holy Eucharist. In today's first reading from the Book of Wisdom, chapter 13, Jesus, God, reminds us through this book, the people who are ignorant of wisdom, God's knowledge, what would happen to them. And in the Gospel, the Lord reminds towards the, the last days how it has happened when the sin was exceedingly over during the time of Noah, how God has chosen particular people and the rest it was put to destruction. What about our life today? At the end of our time, at the end of our death, what kind of message are we giving to God or are we giving to the world through our life? Let us feel sorry for all the times where we have neglected God, used all our properties or used all our talents for the sake of our own self or our own family. Ignored God, ignored a neighbor. Let us feel sorry. And with a contrite heart, let us say, I confess to Almighty God. And, and to you, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, to my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask this in Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. 
Almighty and merciful God, graciously creep from us all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> If, if they could investigate the world, how did they fail to find the Lord of these things? A reading from the Book of Wisdom, chapter 13, verses 1 to 9. All men who were ignorant of God were foolish by nature, and they were unable from the good things that are seen to know him who exist, nor did they recognize the artisans while paying heed to his work, but they supposed that either fire or wind or swift hair or the circle of the stars or turbulent water or the luminaries of heaven were the gods that rule the world if through delight in the beauty of these things, people assume them to be gods. Let them know how much better than this is the Lord, for the author of beauty created them. And if people were amazed at their power and working, let them perceive from them how much more powerful is he who formed them. For from the greatness and beauty of, of created things comes a corresponding perception of their creator. Yet these people are little to be blamed, for perhaps they go astray while seeking God and desiring to find him. For as they live among his works, they keep searching and they trust in what they see, because the things that are seen are beautiful, yet again not even they are to be excused. For if they had the power to know so much that they could investigate the world, how did they fail to find sooner the Lord of these things. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Your response. The heavens declared the glory of God. The heavens declared the glory of God. The heavens declared the glory of God and the ferment proclaims the works of his hand. Day unto day conveys the message and night unto night impart the knowledge. Your response will be. The heavens declare the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God. No speech, no word, whose voice goes unheeded. Their sounds go forth through all the earth. The message to the utmost, utmost bounds of the world. Your response. The heavens declare the glory of God. The heavens declare the glory of God. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah to the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Luke chapter 17, verses 26 to 37. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so will it be in the days of Son of Man. They were eating and drinking and marrying and being given in marriage. 
until the day when Noah entered the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, just as it was in the days of a lot, they were eating and drinking, and buying and selling, planting and building. But the day when the lot were, went out of Sodom, the fire and sulfur rained from heaven and destroyed them all. So will it be the day when the Son of Man is revealed? On that day, let the one who is in the house top with his goods in his house not come down to take them away. And likewise, let those who is in the field not to turn back. Remember Lord's wife. Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life will keep it. I tell you, in that, time, in that night, there will be two in on one bed. One will be taken, the other left. There will be two women grinding together. One will be taken, the other left. And they said to him, Where, Lord? He said to them, Where the corpse is, there the vultures will gather. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to the Lord Jesus Lord. Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in the first reading we have heard about the wisdom. People, those who lack wisdom, they think that and these worldly things are the wisdom. Now, in fact, they are nothing. They are vain and useless. In the Gospel, the Lord reminded us through several incidents, starting with the incident of Noah. Genesis chapter 7 verse 1 says, no, God found only Noah as a righteous man. All the rest, they were not living according to God's wish. So therefore, God could vanish all this except Noah, his sons and in-laws, and creatures as he wished to. And during the time of Lot, the same thing would happen. People were, when there is everything, people were having more of joy with uh, drinking, eating, and destroying their life and never bothered about God. I just would like to bring to your notice the life of St. John Mary Vianney, who is the patron for all the parish priests. In his life too, when he wanted to become a priest because of his lack of capacity to learn the things he was detained several times, but yet, due to love towards our Blessed Mother, the local bishop ordained him. And later on, where to place him, he was asked to go to a place called Ars in, a, in the country called France. There, none of the priests wanted to go because the enti entire village is just like this, Nova time or the Lot's time. Nobody bothered. St. John Mary Vianney too entered, and after entering, he saw he wanted to use all human tricks possible so that to capture those people. There were people who were playing cards. He went and joined with them and they all the more teased the priest and made all this. Never attended the church, never the prayers. So he thought that it is human way, it will not work out. So he surrendered himself to God and surrendered the entire place called ours. And slowly, this parish priest, instead of moving towards the parish, he surrendered himself at the altar of the Lord, started praying. As I said, he was not a learned man, but he used to spend a lot of time in prayer. And he wanted to prepare, but when he comes for a mass, he used to, while giving sermon, he used to forget everything. But yet, that kneeling in front of the Lord has changed the entire his life, at the same, the life of the people called ours. And when he died, the same people who refused in the beginning wanted him, his body, over there. So someone before his death asked him, we will keep your dead body here, we will keep your corpse here after your death. Then this holy saint said, this body is nothing, your attitude that must change. And that's how you're supposed to live. I have lived among you. I think that life is enough. This body will not give you anything. But the people then started changing until today it becomes one of the places where people, a lot of people visit and pray to this great saint. I'm sure, sure the same thing. When the people are more wondering about what would happen, let us not turn back. The Lord reminded us, 
Lot was told, do not turn back because already the place where you have dwelt is a sinful place. And Lot and his wife are saved not just because of these people. There are greater things as we read in Genesis chapter 13 verse 6. Abraham speaking with the Lord. Lord, both of us are relatives. Let us not fight for this property. In sp instead, you take what you want. The Lord saw the right side. The, near the Jordan's lot of pastures. So he went along with his wife and whatever the property that belongs to him. Remember, Abraham, a old in age, but still believed God. That's how, just because of this good man, the righteous, he was, even his own relatives were saved. I'm sure, dear brothers and sisters, all those who are attending this Mass and who offered Masses for your own relatives who have gone before, I'm sure they might have shared some joy with you. Maybe there could have been pains. There could have times where they have not visited the churches. Let us offer themselves to this particular saint who, even with his presence, could be able to change many of them. And more than these people being changed, already they are dead and gone, and they are waiting for God's mercy. Some already would have received God's graces. Let us pray through the intercession of St. John Mary Vianney, who is a patron for the Paris priest. May all the priests, everyone who received baptism, may give God's graces, may receive God's graces. And as we continue to participate in this Holy Eucharist, let us pray for all these departed souls for whom this Holy Eucharist is offered. We offer you, O oh Lord divine, a humble gift so bread and wine. We place them on your altar, Lord, today. Make them worthy of your love. Send your blessings from above. Sanctify this gift, so Lord, we pray. Oh, take our hearts, take our minds. Take all we have, make them thine, O oh Lord. Take all we have, O oh Dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon these sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in the mystery the passion of your Son, may honor it with a loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just in our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for it is your sermons that we come to birth by your will that we are governed and at your command that we return on the account of sin to the earth from which we came. And when you gave the sign, we who have been redeemed by the death of your Son shall be raised up to the glory of his resurrection. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. Amen. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith, majesty, worship is majesty, Jesus who died, now glorify, King of all kings. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Paul Anthony, Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, St. Saint John Bosco, St. Anthony, St. Francis D. Saints, St. John Mary Vianney, St. Rita, St. Alfonso, St. Monica, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, let us dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant peace in our days. In accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with and your with spirit. Your Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called for the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter my roof, but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
of our master and recite the litany of the saints for the departed souls litany of the faithful departed lord have mercy lord have mercy on us christ have mercy on us christ have mercy on us lord have mercy on us lord have mercy on us christ hear us christ graciously hear us our response is have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed god the father of heaven have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed god the son redeemer of the world have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed god the holy spirit have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed holy trinity one god have mercy on the souls of the faithful departed our response is pray for the souls of the faithful departed Holy Mary mother of God pray for the souls of the faithful departed Saint Michael pray for the souls of the faithful departed all you angels and archangels pray for the souls of the faithful departed all you orders of our blessed spirits pray for the souls of the faithful departed Saint Joseph pray for the souls of the faithful departed all you holy patriarchs and prophets pray for the souls of the faithful departed All you holy apostles and evangelists pray for the souls of the faithful departed all you holy martyrs pray for the souls of the faithful departed all you holy bishops and confessors pray for the souls of the faithful departed all you holy doctors pray for the souls of the faithful departed all you holy priests and levites pray for the souls of the faithful departed all you holy monks and hermits pray for the souls of the faithful departed All you holy virgins and widows pray for the souls of the faithful departed all you saints of god pray for the souls of the faithful departed be merciful spare them o lord be merciful graciously hear us o lord our response is o lord deliver them from all evil o lord deliver them from the rigor of your justice o lord deliver them from the power of the devil o lord deliver them from long enduring sorrow o lord deliver them from cruel flames o lord deliver them from terrible horrible darkness o lord deliver them from dreadful weeping and wailing o lord deliver them through your holy nativity o lord deliver them through your most sweet name o lord deliver them through your most profounded humiliations o lord deliver them through your infinite love o lord deliver them through your bloody sweat o lord deliver them through your scorching o lord deliver them through your crowning with thorns o lord deliver them through your carrying of the cross o lord deliver them through your most cruel death o lord deliver them through your five most of holy of wounds o lord deliver them our response is we beseech you hear our hear us we sinners we beseech you hear us in the day of the judgment we beseech you hear us you who forgave magdalene and did, and uh, did grant the prayer of the thief we beseech you hear us that you would be pleased to deliver the souls of our parents relations friends and benefactors from all the pain of hell we beseech you hear us that you would be pleased to have mercy on those on those of whom no special remembrance is made on earth we beseech you hear us 
that you would be pleased to grant them all the pardon and remission of our sins we beseech you hear us that you would be pleased to receive them into the company of the blessed we beseech you hear us king of lawful majesty we beseech you hear us son of god we beseech you hear us lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world grant unto them eternal rest lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world grant unto them eternal rest lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world grant unto them rest everlasting Christ hear us Christ graciously hear us Lord have mercy L- Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy From the gate of hell deliver their souls O Lord O Lord hear my prayer and let my cry come unto you Let us pray O God the creator and the redeemer of all the faithful grant unto the souls of your servants departed the remission of all their sins that by the pious supplications they may obtain the pardon which they have always desire grant this o god who lives and reigns forever and ever amen o eternal god who besides the general precepts of charity has commanded a particular respect for parents kindred and benefactors grant we beseech you that as they were the instruments by which your providence bestowed on us our birth education innumerable other blessings so our prayers may be the means to obtain for them a speedy release from their excessive sufferings and admittance to your infinite joys through Christ our lord amen eternal rest grant unto them o lord and let, let the perpetual light shine upon them may they rest in peace amen let us pray nourished by this sacred gift o lord we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by pouring forth of your spirit grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your with spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. No man can live as an island Journey to life alone Since you're most loved by your mother Jesus gave us his own Be with us merry along the way Guide every step we take Lead us to Jesus, your loving Son Come with us, Mary, come Come with us, Mary Come with us, Mary Come with us, Mary, come